Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can use some of the developer tools to use in a normal spreadsheet. So first of all, I've activated the developer tab. So this is a developer tab. If you haven't got it, just right click on any other tab, go into customize ribbon and then just tick it on. You'll see it in there. Now, what I want to do is I want to use some of these controls. I want to use this spinner control. You can see how this will work in a second. So if, if I just do a little data validation list in here, so I go to the data tab and go to data validation and just select the list option. And my list will be this list of courses here. Bring that back, click OK. Just check that that's picking those up. Yes, it is. Now I want to do a little VLOOKUP on that list. So I'll go equals V lookup. So look at whatever goes in there, comma, look at the table. I'll just look at this table. I'll just highlight the same bit of information, comma. So for the price, I want, um, it's a cost column. So that's the third column, three commas. I want an exact match, which is false and zero. You can put for that. I'll just tick that. So that says NA because there's nothing in there. But if I just drop that down, it comes up with three pound. So the total will just be equals that times that. Tick that, that gives me the total. And I just pick different courses and it will just change it over. So what I want to do with the developer tab is on the developer tab, I want some mechanism or some way that I can actually change the number of copies without physically typing it in so if I go to insert form controls this is the tool or control I want the spin button and you can use some of these other ones well most of these other ones in a, in a normal sheet it doesn't have to be done in visual basic but this is just the one I want to show you for now if I click on that draw myself a very small rectangle there it is now I need to right click on that and go into format control and then you have these options so this is going to increment by one and it goes up to a maximum value of 30,000. It's not really going to have 30,000 people on the course, so that's not really relevant. But this is what you have to do. You have to go to where it says cell link and then you click on the cell you want to link it to. You click OK and then that is linked. So at the moment it's gone to zero because that, that's what this was. If I click off this, this is now active and I can start utilizing it and clicking it up. It's incrementing by one and obviously the price is changing as you can see there and if I go down it's going down like so now the other tools that you've got in there um, not really relevant for the sort of data I've got here but you've got like a tick box control you've got this spin button control this option button control spin button I've just showed you you've got this one as well all of these are for similar thing where you can just um, right click on it and give it a cell reference so for example if I do an option button I'll just draw that there it has this text I'll make it bigger than that it has this text that you can just delete that text off and then click away from it now, if I click on it again, you've got format control for that. And again, you get another cell link. So that would be, yes, a true or false. It's going to put in somewhere and it's your op option whenever you want it. If I, tick on, if I click on that cell there so you can see, it, just click away. So once you tick it, it puts a, a one in there. And then you've got the option to tick another box. I need to put two in there. So obviously that one's selected. So I'll do another one it big so I can get rid of the the text you can leave the text on I'll put some different text if you want so now if I right click on that one format control pick the same cell it is it's looking at the same cell okay click away tick that one that one comes off and it's put a two in there so that's a one that's a two so it's putting a figure in there that you can then utilize for whatever else you want to do so these controls are, are useful when you've already got a spreadsheet and you want to have some variables to put to put into your spreadsheet. The other ones in there that you can utilize, uh, obviously we've done that one, you've got the checkbox there, 
form control same thing as this one we've just done if i just draw that um i won't bother getting rid of the text but if i right click on that format control still asks for a cell link see what it does here if i do the same cell link okay so that's the true and false one i thought this was that but that's the true and false one so if i click away from that true false you can tick that one on and off this one is either or one or two so th these all have a purpose which you can utilize within your spreadsheet so that's all i want to talk about in this little video hopefully that was of use thank you for your time and i'll catch you on the next one